Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another episode. Today, as you can tell, we are not outside the house by the river chatting to the camera. I thought it would be a little bit more interesting to do a little bit of a voiceover while we were rowing down the Henley course pre-summer racing last year as we will be talking about summer racing this year for 2019. So the seat racing this week has finished and I can tell you that I am in the top boat just now for Leander Club which will be racing at uh, Duisburg in Germany and I'm not going to go into details of the results just because the coaches were saying maybe not just put that out there. So which means that we will be in a boat that you will find out tomorrow what that will be but it's very similar to the one you might see in this screen just now but that's the boat we're going to try and race in uh, Germany and Duisburg in less than so roughly 10 days time, so a week on Saturday, week on Friday, and then we're going to see how that goes. So it's a really exciting time, we've all done a lot of seat racing this week, and we're really sort of heading into the next week, next more than a week and a half, see and see how, how good we can make this boat as we row away from the island. And as you can see, everything's up, all the booms are up on the side of the course but not everything is quite finished on the sides, on the banks. So we're talk we'll talk a little bit about what that means for summer racing as well. So we're starting in that boat for uh, Duisburg, and then there is opportunities for uh, Brit Champs this year has also changed time. So it used to be in October, now it's during the summer. There's uh, Met and Marlow Regatta as well, which we might be attending. And so it just kind of depends on timings and how the boat is going to which uh, race we go to or which race seasons we go to. And obviously there's Henley Royal Regatta as well. And so it's a very exciting time to be in the boat with guys that are like raring to go and ready to go for the summer campaign. So getting in the boat, we're all fit, we're all strong. We've had a great week of, or half a week of seat racing to sort of sharpen the senses a bit and then get in the boat tomorrow and then get some international racing next weekend but so a couple of tips for you for seat racing itself so a lot of people find it's uh, seat racing is all about nerves and sort of helping deal with those nerves as they uh, go through seat racing and that nerves and dealing with the pressure is a very big thing in seat racing because your race could determine uh, not only where you sit in, in a boat for the for the next few months it could also mean if it could also determine what boat you are in at all so the pressure is high and how to deal with that in a seat race we spoke a lot about that during the the racing itself with all the guys and what we were saying was when you're when it's your seat race obviously during all races you want to make sure you're being as consistent as possible giving the boat as much speed as you can but in a seat race and your specific one so when like we spoke about yesterday when it's your turn to switch boats you don't want to try and add anything that is detrimental to the speed of the boat you want to essentially do so say you have a race the first um, the baseline race on the first day of the first test it's went really well you felt you've had a really good row you don't then want to go into the, the switch out of that boat and into the next one and then think I need to do more you want to have a really good row again and so that's what we were discussing today and, a few, and yesterday with the guys is you want to be able to take as little speed out of the boat as possible that you're switching into and somehow give as much speed as possible into the boat so once you've done enough seat racing once you've done enough rowing you can know when you're being detrimental to the speed of the boat but it's a big part of making sure that you're adding to the speed of the boat is just feeling the boat and not overworking it and that is a big thing about seat racing not switching around and overworking not trying to think okay this switch is on me and only I can win it no for us we were in fours so there's three other guys in the boat that are there not so much to win the seat race for you but you have to be able to row with them 
to be able to make a fast boat so you can't take it all upon yourself and then suddenly go five splits faster just because you've tried harder you have to be able to make sure the guys around you are rowing better and or trying to make you have to make sure you're trying to make them row better and that they actually are so that's probably my biggest tip is when you do get switched over trying not to let the, the nerves and the pressure make you think okay this is all on me yes the switch is focused on you but it's the boat that needs to go fast so if it's if you're switching in eights then you've got seven other guys seven other people in that boat that you have to work with and make fast boats if you're in the four again you have three people that you have to be able to get in tune with and make the boat go fast and so that is the biggest thing about seat racing is when you're trying to make the boats go fast quickly and it's not you don't have you only have sort of the warm-up or maybe even a pre-paddle to figure out how to row with the guys in the boat you don't have weeks to decide okay i have to have my hands at this this part i have to i have to lean a bit this way or or whatever you have to do have a really quick sort of mental okay these guys are going really fast how can i sit in the boat and make it either go just as fast as they can make it or faster you don't want to suddenly be pulling the boat around because you're out of time or or making the boat slow down because maybe you're trying to find perfect balance or something like that it's all about making fast runs as we come into the enclosures almost down the course here but i think that would be my biggest tip for seat racing itself and another tip as we spoke about yesterday is about fueling up and fueling up is really really difficult during seat racing because you don't really have big uh, resting gaps between races themselves so you have to make sure your energy levels are kept high uh, i really what i'd like to do is after each seat race is make sure i get some really quick sugars in whether that's uh, jelly babies really simple like jelly babies or some jam some honey right after the seat race because then you the sort of when you've ever done a 2k or a flat out piece on the row machine or on the water you have a sort of lull because you've spent so much energy so you want to fire that and get some quick sugars back into your systems as we come through the or enter into the stewards enclosure as you can see on the right there you want to get your body firing again and so a little bit to help the body sort of recover from the shock of doing that flat out piece is some really quick sugars so like i said i'll i like to do some honey uh some uh, some eat some jelly babies or get some jam sort of some really simple and sometimes delicious sugars and what i like to do is have a bag of that of the sweets or the the honey or the jam or whatever it is that you've chosen have that really easily accessible so put that where the put that on the dock so when you you when you're off out on the boat when you land the boat when you dock the boat then it's right there you're getting out you're taking your blade out the gate and then you're having some honey or some jelly babies just so you're really accelerating that recovery and as we cross through the finish line here now that will be it for today's episode most likely very likely back to normal proceedings normal vlogs tomorrow and the camera repair has started so that will be back very very soon but as always yam squad remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button really excited for the next few months of racing and obviously getting in a boat set and a set combination and really giving it some real yam and have a good one